for John Becker's Catamounts. Cam Gibson will start along with Dylan Penn, only player to start every game for Vermont this year. Finn Sullivan, Matt Barreto is a good story. Coach will tell you about that in a little bit. Robin Duncan is uh, the 6'5", fifth-year player from Evansville, their leading rebounder. On the other side, David McLaughlin's Dartmouth College Big Green. Starters tonight are Cade Haskins, Deshaun Neshkovich, team's leading scorer. How does Dartmouth handle the double teams? Look for that early. The official tonight, Brian Zink, to toss the ball up, and we're underway in Hanover, New Hampshire. It's Vermont in the green, and Dartmouth College in the white. Vermont out of America East. And a preseason pick to win the league title again. Dartmouth in the Ivy League start Ivy play on New Year's Day. First shot of the game doesn't go for Dylan Penn. Yeah, good look. Penn came off a flex cut. Dartmouth didn't react in time. Um, Got a good look at the rim. The green off 79-54. Win over Cal Bakersfield here on Saturday. Four double figures. Ryan Cornish starting tonight at 18. Opportunity inside. Yeah, good opportunity. The double team came from the baseline side, but it came awfully late. Adelican had a pretty easy look. Both teams, good looks, no results. First two possessions. Back we go the other way. Vermont won the game last year in Burlington. They've won 13 in a row in this series. Sullivan in the lane, back in for Penn, and good. Yeah, that was a good take. It was good screening action. Set the screen, popped back, saw the saw the space in the lane, and, and took advantage of it. Dartmouth sets the other way. Adelican is up top. Cornish won't be afraid to shoot a three. Robinson takes the baseline, and Adelican right in underneath oh, for the good slam. Good drop down. Good drop down. They had a rotation, but nobody covered the weak side block. Good look by Robinson. He'll pick up the assist on the first Dartmouth basket of the night. Big green in the man here. Watching Sullivan. Ten on the clock. Underneath, that may be a Neshkovich. Yeah, it was. It's the same type of screening action. Just Vermont's being so patient with it and cutting so hard, Dartmouth's forced to react each time. It, Vermont will make your earning at both ends of the floor. There's no question about that. They win, and they win a lot. Penn went to the floor and stepped on the end but line. It's like you have to play against the Vermont team, but you're also playing against the program and the culture that's a winning culture. They get it. The record, maybe not where Vermont fans expect to be, but they've won two in a row. Up to four wins on the season at a close call at Southern Cal. The green, again, Robinson drives the baseline. Nashkovich back, Robinson into the three. It was yeah, good by Sullivan. Good closeout by Sullivan, got a piece of the ball. Back the other way. Cornish, the sophomore, on the takeaway. Dartmouth struggling a little bit with Vermont's defense. Very tenacious. Tough to replicate in practice. It is. They have some length to them. They're playing four guards. They, they know the defense. It's an older group. Stay with a big green, but with only eight seconds on the clock. First off, the bench for Coach McLaughlin tonight is the Missouri freshman, Brandon Mitchell Day. Big green with a shot to get to 500 on the year. They're four and five overall. All back-to-back -back wins. A delicate leans in, no good. Backside yeah, rebound. Yeah, that's a little back. further away than he's used to shooting that shot. Back the other way, Duncan for Vermont. Low scoring, each team with only one basket. Penn denied by Robinson. 
Here's Duncan. Underneath. Yeah, that's what he Just does. He's room. an inside player. Won't take a three-point shot. Been around a long time. Two years ago in this gym, he really destroyed Dartmouth by posting up Dartmouth's guards. He's been around a long time. Six points a game, 6.6 6 rebounds. Good block inside Yeah, there's there. the energy, too. The offensive rebound to the putback, he wouldn't be denied. Big ring coming back with the offensive rebound there after the block by Matt Barreto to get the points. Tied at four, and we have a foul. This will bring us to the first media timeout of the game. So 4-4, Vermont and Dartmouth underway tonight. It's the Ivy League on Nesson. So now we'll look for somebody else to play, and it can't be like that vice versa. If Dartmouth really gets good, Vermont's saying no, we'll play somebody else. It should be mandatory. A lot of these regional games, the athletic directors should mandate them. Off the timeout. We have uh, Jackson Monroe in the game here for the Big Green. 33. So we have a uh, first-year player on the floor in for Adelican. The basket for Penn gives him two field goals. And Vermont leads. He's, a, he's a guard that plays inside the lane, but he's a good athlete, and he feels the defense, and he has some elevation to him as well. He's also ambidextrous south of the foul line. Cornish had a screen from Robinson. Feeds inside for Monroe, and he'll go up strong and draw the foul. Drew the foul. Good play by the freshman. Two freshmen in at once for the big green right now. Mitchell Day and Jackson Monroe. Both good looking freshmen. Veretto, the Delaware transfer on the foul there. Is that what we say? A Delaware transfer, not a Yukon transfer, right? <laughs> but actually both. It's actually he's he's actually played club basketball at Yukon for a couple of years. Hasn't played in a college game since 2018-19. Uh, very interesting story. But still on eligibility and he, still studying so he can play. Two free throws for Jackson Monroe. Ties us up at six. Dartmouth out in pressure after the free throw. More token pressure. Haskins, the guy putting the pressure on Penn there. Vermont through that. But Vermont doesn't make a ton of mistakes. They may not be. Guess a, what? We need, Dartmouth needs somebody to, to check Dylan Penn. Uh, he's got he's their goals. offense right now. Eight to six. Penn leading scorer on Vermont at 11 8 a game. Cornish from Mitchell Day and goaltender. Oh, made it anyway. Good take. He's been kind of held in check. Vermont's done a nice job on him. That's his first clean look of the day. Uh, Jaron Johnson, a junior, into the ball game for Cade Haskins. He's probably going to guard Penn. He's a very good defender. He's long. He's on him now. All right, Penn's still working down the lane. It, it, it's also okay for Dartmouth to seal their gaps earlier and not let him penetrate because... Vermont's not known as a good outside shooting team. They struggle from three-point land, so start sealing those gaps a little further out. Mitchell Day on the foul, it's team's third. Vermont is a team 67.6% .6 from the line. Penn, though, the best they have at 84.2. He's missed six all year. He's off to a tremendous start. Dartmouth has not figured out his quickness yet. Big Green will get Romeo Myrtle to the scorer's table to come in as we get ready for Penn's free throw. Quick uh, conversation uh, between referee Zink and John Becker. I have no idea what they were talking about. Nope. Myrtle is in for Robinson for the big green. Sam Alamutu for Robin Duncan for Vermont. Catamounts looking to add the back end of the free throw. 
and it's 10-8. Myrtle. Man for Vermont, Cornish. Too much off the dribble. Sullivan picks it up on the turnover. Catamounts come back here with Penn in the front court. He's had quite a half so far. Yeah, they, they move the defense in. They got to move the defense in and give more help on the drivers. He's got 10 points to start this game. 10 of the first 12, and the Catamounts lead is four. 12 8. Who can answer? Cornish inside. Too strong with that one. Yeah, the physicality of Vermont right now is definitely adversely affecting the offense of the Big Green. There you go. Cornish went for the ball, knocked it out of bounds. That's the idea. He's taking way too many dribbles without helpers. Varetto returns for Vermont, and Robinson is back in for the Big Green. Dylan Penn, four out of five from the floor. So Vermont has taken six shots, Coach. They've made five, and Penn is four for five. Yeah, the difference is they've had a couple turnovers, and Dartmouth's got a couple offensive rebounds. That's why they have extra possessions. That's why it's as close as it is. Vermont by four. Deloney into the game. And we'll get a foul. And this is Aaron Deloney, a senior from Portland, Oregon. And he's one of the leading scorers on Vermont, but he doesn't start all the time. Well, he's the one three-level scorer. He took that one to the rim. He also has a mid-range game, and he'll really look for the three-point shot off the pass and off screens. He can be an explosive scorer. We'll get to the free-throw line here after the second foul by Isaiah Robinson. But Dartmouth will sub out Robinson with Jaden Williams. Well... Maybe not. Decision will be that it will be Jackson Blaufeld into the game for the Big Green. Robinson has two fouls. They don't want to take any chances. Deloney hits them both. The Vermont run is 6 nothing with four of the six points coming from the free throw line. Neskovic might have had a shot there on the right side. The green will move it around. Monroe out to Blaufeld. Around and out. Oh, down to him. Good shooter. Got to get it going. Oh, they couldn't finish it. Good play. Good feed. Side pick and roll action. It was fast and it was quick. They threw the lob. And Dartmouth does not answer at the other end. Monroe almost got called for the foul there. Johnson with a miss. Drought continues for the big green. Scoreless for over two minutes. 14-8. Deloney. And this will be a foul on the end line? Or he stepped on the end line? Oh, that was a good cut. Stepped on the end That line. was a good drive by Deloney. It was a good cut. He just stepped on the end line. The physicality of Vermont's defense is, is causing Dartmouth to lose their composure a little bit. They have not looked good offensively. Trying to do too much, not moving the defense. Um, they're really playing under duress, and it looks like they're not quite used to it. You see Georgia Choa, first-year player from L.A., 35 on the floor, as Dan Medellican returns for the big green. They'll match up inside. Medellican. Takes it to the freshman, and a reverse layup is good. Yeah, good take. Now, they haven't double teamed uh, the post. I thought they were going to. They're trying to defend the post with physicality. Uh, that time, Adelica made a good, quick move. And Dame has six. Three of the four Dartmouth field goals. Four-point game, 14-10. Just underway here in Hanover, New Hampshire. Back end of what is a double header. Women played here earlier today. You Albany won that game. There's your three-level scorer. He does it all. High drive to the basket. First touch, second touch, deep three. 19th May three-point field goal of the year for Aaron Deloney. 
Biggest lead for the Catamounts. Up to seven, a delicate. Fouled. So we'll take a break with 11.24 to go in the first half. Vermont leads 17-10. It's so has the respect of everybody in New England. That's what makes scheduling so hard for them because a lot of teams won't play them because they know they're so well coached. When I look at their schedule, you would think, you know, a lot of those Boston area schools, right, that Vermont could play and they're not on the schedule. That's why he's traveled so much this year. After the timeout, they go to a delicate. Blaufeld is inside. Out to Johnson. Yeah, he dragged it a little bit. Hesitated, wanted to go right. The de defense was anticipating it. Didn't do a good job with the crossover. Dragged his foot. 6-4 early rebounding advantage for Vermont. Three turnovers for the Catamounts, two on Dartmouth. Dartmouth four for 12 shooting. Vermont is six out of eight. Yeah, they've gotten great looks. Deloney back for Gibson. Three point to try. A rebound yeah. for Jaron Johnson. Gibson and Deloney are the two major three point threats. For Vermont. Dame's getting it so far away from the block though. Forces the way in, and they let Good him get goal. away with it. Yeah. He put it in. A couple of little uh, pushes to the chest, and a delicate found himself underneath. Already up to eight points. Duncan confronted by Myrtle. Gibson. Instead, Vermont pulled it back. Down to six. And in the end, Vermont okay. scores anyway. Guys Deloney. can't check him, yeah. Deloney and Penn getting to the rim is really the story offensively so far. They have 17 of the 19 points, those two guys. Strong move inside, came up short for Neshkovich. Vermont back with a seven-point lead, 19-12, tied for their largest lead of the game. Deloney and Duncan will play catch up top. Deloney kicks it through for Gibson. That three. Moreno. The left hand. He drains it. The lead is 10. 22 to 12. Coach Vermont also not uh, with the services of one of their top first year players. It's not going to happen with Coach Becker. Well, this, this Vermont program has been more than relevant for a long oh, time now. It's really special. That's what everybody wants to become is the consistency and the success. Mitchell Day for Dartmouth. Big Green now down 10 after that made three-pointer. Adelican, how much are they going to let him get away with? The hook, no good. The rebound, Duncan. Yeah, they're not sending anybody. They're letting him play 1v1, and, and they, they're really small when he gets the ball. The Catamounts will set it up again. Vermont 8 of 11 shooting. They've gotten to the line four times as well. Made those. They miss here for Alamutu. Dartmouth back the other way. Cornish and a delegate far side for Mitchell Day. Cornish hit as he released the shot. There's no whistle and it's no good. Deloney on the far side for three. Rattled out. Dartmouth fortunate there. That one was halfway down. Yeah, Vermont very good, though. Very sound in defensive transition, not giving up anything. Forcing Dartmouth to go against the half-court defense every time. Looking for something other than a delicate inside. Mitchell Day. Looked like he had it over the other shoulder, came back into the defense. Rebound out Lamutu. Vermont for three. Sullivan had the shot. Under eight to go now here in the first half. Cornish fouled by Robin Duncan. So a timeout here in Hanover, 7.53 to go first half. Vermont 22, Dartmouth 12. We have more coming up. It's the Ivy League on Nesson. so he's now not in so uh, we'll see how Dartmouth handles things 
Big Green down 10. Coach, big eight minutes for Dartmouth. Monroe. Mitchell Day for three. No good. Rebound Vermont. The, the freshman collaborated on a play there. Inside out action, but Day missed the shot. Penn had the points early for Vermont. Yeah, he's back in the game. Let's watch him go. Sullivan. Vermont looking for offense. Five seconds left. Duncan hard to the hoop. And boy, they are really letting them play. Yeah, right? they're letting them play. And the more physical team right now is Vermont on both ends. Quick three off of the uh, corner pass, and Haskins missed it. This will be Dartmouth's ball, so they they are in the possession there. 20 seconds up on the clock. 6.54 to go in the half. Yeah, in a low-scoring game, you do not want the deficit to get too steep. They'll go deep to Cornish and set up the offense from there. 24-12, Vermont with its biggest lead of the game. No chance to get it to Cornish inside, so will set up again. And this time the inside pass. Yeah, great cut Monroe. by Myrtle, but also a great pass by freshman Jackson Monroe. Great pass. And Dartman needed that for sure. And Dartman's going zone for the first time. Will Vermont go with it? They found the player underneath, and that is Perry Smith Jr. Well, they got the ball to Robin Duncan in the middle of the zone, and he was so poised looking for the opening until he found it. He's a fifth year senior, he's been around. Cornish inside for two. Another cut by Jackson, another cut by Cornish. Good pass by Jackson Rowe. He's starting to look, look like a true point center that they have here in that freshman. Still a 10-point lead for the Catamounts. Pen reversal. Sullivan back over to Barreto. Posting up Cornish Pen. And he didn't get the finish. Yeah, and Bertel comes down with a rebound. Left-handed kid that was a pretty good finish, though, with his non-preferred hand. Tough catch by Monroe. Rebound, Vermont. Foul situation is four on Dartmouth, three on Vermont. And we mentioned for a game with so much contact. Contact in every play. Good for two for Perry Smith Jr. First year out of Augusta, Georgia. Yeah, off he's, the bench. A, he's a freshman, but he got really good position on Monroe. Well, you got to fight around and take that position away. Smith's been averaging about 15 minutes a game. He has two field goals. Vermont lead at 12. 28-16. Myrtle. Good job to control. Dartmouth down to six on the clock. It's Myrtle turns and he gets two. Uh, went right at Dylan Penn. Gave him some of his own medicine. Dribble hot into the lane. Good spin back. Second field goal for the sophomore from Solna Sweden, and it's 28-18. Boy, Cornish really tight on Finn Sullivan there. Almost had him wrapped up. Yeah, Penn's wide open. He's not taking the shot. He's going to get some space. To, oh, yes, he is. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> he heard me, I think, Bob. Haskins will bring it back. Cornish got it. First naked look for him coming off the ball screen. They didn't. Sw they were late switching it. Knocked it down. That's the first made three for Dartmouth tonight, and he comes with 3:45 to go in the half. Seven-point game at 28-21. Robin Duncan switches hands, goes back. Oh, got a cut oh, and a beautiful that pass. That was Myrtle turned his back to his man. Good cut. Good cut by Dylan Penn. 
Real good basketball. Transfer from Bellarmine, 30-21, Vermont. Cornish. Good floater. Smith with a rebound. Timeout. Vermont. So I'll take us to a break. We'll have some substitutes coming into the game as well. This one is 30. Eskovich, Robinson, Johnson, and Dama Delican. 2.57 to go here in the first half. And Dartmouth has trailed now for a good portion of the first half. Down 12, Vermont, three-pointer for Yeah, that's why he called a timeout. He ran a staggered screen for Aaron Deloney. He knocked it down. Deloney with a couple of made threes and 10 points. Vermont 33, Dartmouth 21. The turnover and the Catamounts come back. Yeah, the Catamounts knew it was coming. Deloney. Nope, not this time. There's his pull up. Dartmouth push for a three. Plenty of time on the clock. Two minutes to go, first half. It is a three try. Johnson does not hit it. Dartmouth one for seven from yeah, three. Struggling from the three point land. They have to work so hard for everything. They get a little opening. They're not shooting with confidence. Robert McCray at the scorer's table for Dartmouth. One extra pass that, to an open Perry Smith. Yeah, that was a clinic, by the way. High drive, two interior passes. A delicate no on the yeah, comeback. Yeah, he should have gone up strong side. Vermont in complete control. Shooting 59% in the lead as big as it's been now at 14 for the Catamounts. Smith again. He cannot he's be got, checked. He's got four field goals off the bench. Dave McLaughlin has to he has use to, another he timeout. Needs a, he needs a timeout, but Vermont has the feeling now that they cannot be checked. Anything 1v1, they're taking confidence by the team wearing green. Catamounts coming off of a 66-43 win Sunday at Merrimack. Back on the road tonight, closing it on a minute. Dartmouth in with three. And no good again, Neshkovich. Catamounts will bring it across. Deloney's had a good first half. Back to Verretto. Vermont feeds inside, nobody open. Duncan passed up the three. Now in the lane, wow. and a cut to Alamutu. The, the, the dribble drive to hitting a cutter has been a great option for their offense. But Robin Duncan's not going to shoot the three. He can up fake all day. He's not shooting it. Stay down. A delicate. Vermont comes up with the ball. McCray had the right idea. But he didn't get it off of the yeah. Vermont player. So 10 seconds left now for Vermont. Maloney. What a hell. What an only four fouls in the first half. Vermont only committed three fouls in the first half. So they're not, nobody has more than one. So probably a scripted possession from Coach Becker. All right, it's Penn. Reversal and Verretto looking for a three. He did make one in the first half. Can Dartmouth find offense, get on a little bit of a run? You have to knock off a point a minute. Cornish. Feeds a uh, delicate dunk. Good play, good movement to a fast pick and roll. Hard roll down, good lob pass by Cornish. Good way to start the second half. A delicate up to 10 tonight for the Big Green. Gibson works it in the corner. Verretto. Halfway into the shot clock now. Gibson 
inside with the left hand. Nice finish. Yeah, they, 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 they do a lot of go screens. They fake screen and they, they, they twist it and go right in front. Um, very successful so far. Vermont continues that hot shooting. Twenty point lead. Vermont shooting sixty four percent for the game. Cornish into the lane, down to five seconds. A Delican and one. Yeah, he finished going baseline that time. Potential three point play. Good start for the Big Green. Got another look at this. Beautiful pass inside by Kate Haskins. Yeah, shot clock was winding down as well. Wasn't a great possession until uh, until the result. Game has 13. Forty-three twenty-six, Vermont by seventeen. Catamounts have led by as many as twenty. In the second half now. That move to his left got Finn Sullivan right in underneath and drew the foul. It was a good take. He created the contact, but um, defender r really did um, leave his feet. Foul went to Haskins. That's his first. Sullivan, a fifth year player from San Diego, California. Vermont 45, Dartmouth 26. That time they tried the front, they didn't help soon enough. Nice lob pass to Adelican, he's going to the free throw line. Foul goes to Perry Smith. Be his first. Double miss. A little under 18 to play now in the second half. Panel work up top against Isaiah Robinson. Dunk it in the corner for a Gibson shot, and yeah. he knocks down the three. Good basketball, Gibson, good shooter. And Vermont's lead has grown to 22. Boy, they are so active defensively, Coach. Well, it looks like they're open, and on the pass that the closeout is right there. They can't get this shot off. First bucket of the game for Junior Dusan Neskovic. Ball hit the oh, rim. Unlucky, unlucky. Yeah, very. Because Gibson able to corral it, and he goes in and scores. <laughs> Foul will be on Duncan. Be his second. Neskovic having trouble getting his three-point shot off. He's starting to be aggressive going to the rim. He's only been able to get one off in the game. Yeah. We'll go to the bench here in favor of Mitchell Day. In this business, if you have a few good games, you're going to be marked coming out. The people do a very thorough job of scouting. Haskins. He'll miss. Dartmouth one for nine from three. And Vermont unable to convert on this end. And we go back the other way. 50-28 Catamounts. Vermont led by 20 at the half. 
Medellican, it's been his night. Another one and out. Yeah, they need something to go down, there's no question. 2014 rebounding advantage for Vermont as well. Vermont, by the way, does not have an offensive rebound in the game. Solid defense, I thought, there by Haskins. Yeah, they held their ground. And now what can Dartmouth do offensively? Not been able to cut into the lead at this point. Good Two take more by for a delicate. Delicate. Good take. Defense starting to loosen up a little on Vermont's side. Delican at 21 against Fordham. That's his season highs up to 15 tonight. Dylan Penn's an interesting play because he's left-handed, but a lot of his finishes are with his right hand. Long three. It's a foul on Vermont. Cats. And the Big Green will head to immediate timeout with 15-19 to go second half. And we're still a 20-point lead for Vermont on Nesson. 67%, Vermont 3 of 7, 43%. But Dartmouth has not been able to close at all on Vermont. And the 20-point halftime deficit is still 20 with 15-12 to go. And they forced it inside. Vermont able to knock away that pass intended for Mitchell Day. And we go back the other way. Alamutu for two more. Good take. Redshirt freshman from Ajax, Ontario. Yeah, they passed, cut in front of the ball, and, and um, created the space, just took it right to the rim. Little floater comes up short yeah. for Brandon. A little wild, too. Getting out of hand. Penn blocked by Mitchell Day. Vermont controls, and up with it. Smith, no good. Dartmouth spreads the floor. Good spacing. Monroe will take the pass up top. That's Jaron Johnson with the ball. Back to Robinson right into a three. And no good. And a foul on Mitchell Day. It'll be his second. Second foul on Dartmouth. For 14.07 to play. Yeah, Dartmouth's missing their threes, but you have to give credit to the Vermont defense. Robinson was open that time, but he's so really open that it's unusual to take a three. I think it's the best defense we've seen in this gym this year, so far this year, what Vermont has displayed tonight. I'd like to see Dartmouth respond, whether they win the game or not, the last 14 minutes, be more effective in functioning offensively against this Vermont defense. Dartmouth one for 11 from three-point range tonight. Big Green offering some pressure now. Vermont able to break through that. Duncan wanted a screen from Deloney. Gave it back to him for a three-point try. No good. Romeo Myrtle back into the game with a rebound for the big green. Johnson back to Myrtle. Doesn't go for Robinson, followed his own miss. Deloney with a takeaway, now comes back the other way. Vermont has some time and playing with a big lead here tonight. As big as it's been, 22 points. Johnson got a hand in it, and they'll say last touch by Vermont. So Catamounts turn it over. It's just their fourth turnover of the game. Yeah, they've been very sound offensively. Deloney just tried to do a little too much that time. In transition, bounced out. Nobody else got a touch. Blaufeld is in. So is Cam Kristowiak, senior from San Diego. He's on the floor for the first time tonight for the big ring. Yeah, looking for combinations that work right now. Jaron Johnson on the point. Haven't seen that. Myrtle around the Monroe screen. Gives it back to the big guy. 
Vermont with the rebound. Duncan. Got the ball over to Alamutu, finished. Same formula. Penetrate, turn your back, draw help, have a cutter come from behind. Vermont looking impressive tonight. Ball headed inside, knocked away by Barreto. Pass, pass, and a finish. Wow. By Alamoto. They actually have assists on half of their yeah, they eight just, field goals they, at 630. We'll look at that schedule and what we have upcoming in just a little bit. Right now, what Dartmouth is looking to do is finish strong here against a Vermont club that has had the run of play in this one for sure. Catamounts up 26. For Stoiak. To 10 on the shot clock for Blaufeld. Myrtle cuts immediately. They double team down on him with four on the clock. Johnson, tough shot. Tough shot. Smothered defensively the whole possession. Duncan's going to go. He's been looking for one for a little while here. And Vermont gets another assist in basket for Finn Sullivan off the pass from and a, Another five-footer. So strong with the ball. Duncan, I know you like this. Six assists in the game for 55 for Vermont. <laughs> and they'll call Duncan on that foul. It'll bring us to another media timeout. He is third. Vermont in control with 11.01 to play in the second half here in Hanover. This is the Ivy League on 40 in the game, 60%. They're hitting 50% of their shots here after the intermission, and they led by 20 at the break. Dartmouth possession. Cornish with the basketball. With Blaufeld. Robinson back to Cornish. On target, but short. It hit the rim. McCray. Backside for a Blaufeld three, and that's no good. And Vermont will come back with it. So Dartmouth needing threes, just haven't gotten it. Drive into the lane, knocked away from Alamutu. McCray the other way, an offensive foul. Good call. Junior from Englewood, California, whistled here. Duncan, an experienced player, baited him a little bit, held his ground. Duncan with three fouls had to be sure. He definitely had that one. You know, Coach Becker is obviously a great coach, but he's done a great job preparing his team for today. They played Saturday at Merrimack. He only had one day. And he's taken away Dartmouth's strengths and exposed their weaknesses to an unbelievable degree, really. Halfway through the second half, just about. Catamounts running deep into the clock. They've had a lot of good possessions. Deloney comes back over to Sullivan with three. Back to Deloney. Stops. Pops. No good. Offensive rebound and second chance opportunity for Vermont. Just their second offensive rebound of the game. But they have out rebounded Dartmouth 27-20. Back down to five on the clock. Blocked inside by a Delican. Good block. They had the ball there, though, for 45 seconds. 50 seconds. And oh, they missed another dunk. Technical foul will be called there for hanging on the rim on Alamutu. Yeah, Alamutu, <laughs> he, he missed the shot. and He, he did his chin up. Well, Cornish is down with the knee. Happened right in front of us. I never saw it. I'm trying to help him pop the knee back in. It looks like 9:22 to go here in the second half. 58:30, and not a sign uh, that Dave McLaughlin wants to see here. He's with, having uh, trouble. He can't put weight on it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
It was behind the play, and I, my attention was down on the offensive end where Vermont was trying to set up a dunk. And Robinson makes the technical. And Vermont to inbound under their own hoop with 9.22 to go. Deloney flashed to the end line. But Vermont very content and very smart will run deep into the clock, but they continued to be able to finish off. Didn't get it to finish that time. Perfect pass into Smith, though. Yeah, Smith's playing a lot of minutes today. And they just will not drop for the big green. Left side, Sullivan knocks it down. Yeah, he shot that like he meant it. Only shooting 28% from three for the year. 26 in his last five games, but he shot that one like he meant it. Vermont by 30. They have five made threes in the game. Dartmouth has one. And as Vermont has kind of taken a delicate away. They haven't been able to find much offense elsewhere. Adelican will get to the free throw line here for the big green. Perry Smith Jr. with his second foul. Or uh, actually his third foul, and it is six on Vermont. Game 62% on the year from the line. Yeah, Dartmouth's got to keep playing, stay together. Keep the effort up. Sometimes the measure of what you are is when things aren't going your way. Up to 17 in the game now for Adelican. Eight in the first half, nine here in the second half. Vermont again will work it around. Deloney is stolen by Adelican. Big guy with a steal. Now look at Vermont get back. Take away that opportunity there for Robinson. Isaiah leaves it back for Johnson. Little fade away and knocks it down for his first bucket. Good play. He had to work for it. Sixty-one to thirty-five. Seven and a half to go here in Hanover. Myrtle worked and got there. So Vermont. Everything. Oh, they're relentless. Yep. Effort is relentless. A delicate. Yeah, a little awkward with his footwork on that one. No Vermont, foul. No Vermont, foul, huh? Vermont has an older group. Right. Seniors, 50 year seniors. Deloney, far side against Adelican. How's that for a match? Oh. And Deloney able to flip it over to knock it in. Timeout taken by Vermont. will take us to another break with 6.51 to go. All Vermont, 63.35. Done it in all sorts of weather conditions. Yeah, all yeah. sorts. Yeah. 63-35 here. It's all Vermont. If you're just joining us, Catamounts put 41 on the board in the first half on Dartmouth, looking for win number five of the year. Robinson. And Dartmouth's had a good look. They have one for 15 from three-point range. After a really good game against uh, Cal Bakersfield the other day from three. They made 14 of them. This is Gibson, Vermont playing without first year. T.J. Hurley out tonight. 
He'll be a big part of this Catabound team moving forward as they get the league season. Johnson low. Back around. Brandon Mitchell Day, deep ball, the far side. That's not an easy look, but Johnson able to get it down. Yeah. He's done a nice job tonight. One bright spot right now is, is Jaron Johnson. He's made five threes. Five thirty-eight to go in this one. Vermont well on their way to their 14th straight win over Dartmouth as Aaron Deloney hits yeah. another three-point. Yeah, right now that backcourt is quick with Deloney playing with Dylan Penn. That's a quick backcourt, tough backcourt to press. Three made threes of the game for Deloney and a game high, 17 points. Co-leading score with Dave Delican. Good shot, got to shoot him when you're open. He was open. Still a freshman feeling his way. Deloney drives into the lane, gives it back to Duncan, and it was Duncan's turn, right? He has yeah. six, seven assists in the game, and this time they called his number and gave it back to him. He'll get to the line. Deloney, Dylan Penn, and Robin Duncan drive at will against the Big Green from start to finish. First miss of the night from the line for the Catamounts, who were six for six. Yeah, Duncan, who has played more minutes than any other Catamount in the game, made both of his field goals, six rebounds, seven assists. And, well, he's been around so much, but he's such a team guy, and he knows exactly what he is and what he needs to do to help the team. Try to... Force it inside to Jaden Williams, who's in the game for Dartmouth. 22. Dartmouth's used 13 different players in the game. Steele, Mitchell Day, and they'll let him go in and duck it. Good play. Keep playing, Mitchell Day. That a boy. Keep it going. His first hoop of the night. Vermont lead is 26. Three freshmen in the game right now for the Big Green. All at once. Keep the energy level up. This is a starting five for Vermont on the floor right now. For Coach Becker. Myrtle. Into go. the three and gets it. Good push up the floor by Jaden Williams. This is a young group right now. Three freshmen, two sophomores. Deloney. Back for Penn. Good defense by Jaden Williams. Yeah, good athletic block there. Take one more timeout, 321 to go. Second half, Vermont 66, Dartmouth 43. It's the Ivy League on Nesson. Back inside lead arena, under four to go. Vermont comfortably in front here. I've been for a long time, 66-43. Williams will come down with a rebound on the Deloney miss. Let's see who's out there. It's Robert McCrave the third with the ball. Tried to get it in Monroe inside. Backside, Mitchell Day. Oh, good play. Freshman to freshman, lay it in. Back to Jackson Monroe. For two, let's see. The Catamounts have Aaron Deloney and Dylan Penn out there, along with Sam Alamutu. Cam Gibson is down there, and Georgia Choa also in as well. Sixty-eight forty-five Catamounts. 
McRae looking for three, didn't get it. Penn with that last bucket up to 14 in the game. That's his first points in the second half. He carried him early though. Deloney and Penn combined for 24 in that first half for Vermont. Two to play. Turnover for Vermont. Actually, Vermont, 10 turnovers to Dartmouth's nine in the game. Problem tonight has been Dartmouth getting shots, good shots. And Vermont getting great shots, which they were. Taking out Deloney. Redshirt freshman Michelle Dayashimie from, from Burlington, Vermont. Yeah, Brother Rice High School. Into the ball game here, 25. Christoyak for the big green. Leaves for Williams. Try to come back across, tipped by Penn. Winds up with Mitchell Day. And a basket underneath for Jaden Williams. Minute and a half to go, Vermont, 68-47. John Becker's 262nd career win. So if yeah. he gets one against Colgate this weekend, then he'll be home to play Toledo on the 20th with a chance to tie the legendary Vermont coach Tom Brennan. I would uh, assume Tom will be in attendance as well. No pressure. Under a minute. Kristoyak inside. Myrtle with the left hand off the window. Four field goals for Romeo Myrtle. Is nine points, 68-49. And Vermont will be at Colgate on Saturday. Dartmouth will be at Central Connecticut on Friday night. Start a four-game road trip for the Big Green that'll also take them to BU, South Florida, and UMass. We'll see them against UNH here on the 29th. Inside, no for Ochoa. Start with ball, shot clock will be off. McRae, right side three, good for Jaden Williams. And Dartmouth finally yeah. started to hit some threes. Yeah, Jaden Williams has definitely made the most of his minutes as well. Um. And it's Vermont's night tonight. They win here in Hanover 68 to 51.